Wouldn't it be great if you could have a time machine, transport yourself back 20 odd years, just to have a little bit of a conversation with your younger self. What would you tell that person? What would you say? What pearls of wisdom from your experiences, from your success and from your failures would you share with that younger person? It's Friday once again and it's a lovely day here on the Naves Mire in York. I've dropped Uncle Archie off once again for his shopping. Ten minutes ago he shuffled off into Tesco's to get his weekly shop and I'm now down here on the Naves Mire for a bit of a walk and to record this video. Today is actually race day in York, so here on the Knavesmire, it'll be York races at some point today, so there's a hive of activity around me, but uh, the Knavesmire is still open, people are allowed to walk, so, uh, so here I am. Yeah, time machines. If only we could have a time machine. What pearls of wisdom would we tell our younger self? When I was 40, or turning 40, about, what would that be, 23 years ago now, because I'm 63, I didn't realise it at the time, but life was going to change hugely. There were going to be some serious life-changing events that were going to send me off in a completely different direction to the one that I've been travelling for the last 20 odd years. So the million dollar question is, if I'd have known what was coming in my 40s, would I have done anything differently? Would I have tried different things? Would I have implemented some different behaviours? Would my life have been a little bit different if I'd have known those things, if I could chat with myself? Well, the answer to that question is, well, yes, it would. But I've got no regrets. I haven't got a time machine and I can't change anything. But if you're in your 40s, perhaps my experience can help you make some decisions that I think might change the trajectory of your life. The first thing that I would tell my 40-something self is that time is a very precious commodity not to be wasted. When I was in my early 40s, it seemed like the previous 20 years had just chugged along. They'd gone on forever. Time doesn't seem to move that fast. At least I didn't think it did when I was in my 20s and my 30s. It was moving along, it was chugging along, I was making progress in what I was wanting to do, but I wasn't going fast enough for my own mind. Fast forward 20 years and the time has absolutely whizzed by. My 40s and 50s have flown by in an absolute flash. And what's happened during that time? Well, the big life-changing event that happened to me in my 40s and I'm sure this will happen to you as well and will have happened to others in the 40s is that my father died and that was a really big life-changing event. I've covered in more detail the impact that had on me but if I'd have known when I was 40 that my father was going to die in three years time well I would have spent a lot more time with him. I really would. Now I don't get to spend any time with him because he's gone. And if I'd have known that when I was 40, I'd have played more golf with him. I'd have invited him round for dinner more often. I'd have spent more time with him just having a bit of a laugh here at York Races. He loved the racing and I only occasionally went with him. Sad really, when I was younger in my teens, I went with him a lot. But by the time I hit 40, no, I wasn't spending the time with him that I should have done. I could have been here at York Races having fun with him, but I wasn't. What was I doing instead? I was on the hamster wheel. I was at the grindstone. I was working all I was God sends to build my business, driving forward to some future goal that never seemed to arrive. So yeah, that's the first thing. Time is very precious. It flies by. You don't realise it, but you'll be 60 odd before you know it. And I'm fairly conscious of the fact when I look at my Uncle Archie at 90 odd, I'll probably be 90 odd in the blink of an eye if I'm lucky. Um, so yeah, time. We take it for granted and yet it's our most precious commodity. The second thing that I parachute in and tell my younger self is to stop treating your health like some kind of side hustle. Again, 
I'd never really taken my health seriously. I'd worked out on and off for the previous 20 years, but not without any particular conviction. And the net result was by the time I hit 40, I was three stone heavier than I am now. My health wasn't, wasn't good. I was suffering from stress. I was a, an angry bloke, if I'm, if I'm honest. And yet the young man in my early 20s wasn't. I was slimmer, I, was, I wasn't as angry. And all that had been caused by neglecting my health, working all hours God sends, again, not eating the right kind of foods. I've never been a boozer, so I can't say I was drinking too much because I wasn't doing that. Definitely a lack of sleep. I used to work until the early hours of the morning sometimes. We regularly entertained uh, our clients uh, and that often involves staying up until the early hours of the morning on a regular basis. So I wasn't getting enough sleep, I wasn't eating healthily, I wasn't getting enough exercise. And the knock-on effect of all of that is it affects your energy and it affects your mental health and your mood. So I'd go back and have a chat with my young self and I'd say, hey Nick, look, hang on a minute, mate. You need to wake up here. If you carry on like this, you're gonna to head to an early grave. Fortunately for me, um, I didn't have to have that conversation because within a few years, I'd actually sold my shareholding in that small business. Uh, and I set about on a completely new journey which uh, eventually transformed me into the person I am today, which is three stone lighter, um, generally in good health, apart from the obvious one, which I keep talking about in most videos, which is my gallbladder. Uh, that's as a result, I think, of the hedonistic lifestyle that I had back in my 30s. Um, too much rich food, for example. I think the diet side of things has caught up with me gallstones and sludge and all those kind of things and uh, I'm gonna have to have my gallbladder out as a result but other than that I'm in good health you know I walk five six seven thousand miles uh, so, sorry not miles steps I should wish five thousand miles yeah I walk five six or seven thousand steps every single day uh, weekends I try to get five to ten miles in I go to the gym two sometimes three times a week and lift weights so I've never been in better health other than the gallbladder. And I'm certainly in significantly better health than I was when I was 40. So that would be what I would parachute back in and tell myself is wake up. You're taking your health for granted. You're taking your time for granted. You're taking your health for granted. And those are two things that are absolutely precious. Your time and your health. If you don't take care of those two things, everything else will just turn to shit. The third thing I would talk to my younger self about is to make sure that you're climbing the correct ladder. Have you got your ladder on the right wall? And by that I mean the career that you've chosen and the effort you're putting in, is it your passion? Is it really the thing you want to do? You're climbing a ladder and those ladders are tough. I mean, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a game of snakes and ladders. You can often climb up a ladder suddenly catch a snake and start coming back down again. So I think you've got to make sure that your ladder is on the right wall. So again, the question I would ask Nick, who's 40, is I would say to him, what about your ladder? Are you sure this is what you want to do? You're building a recruitment business. Is it really what you want to do? Is it your true passion? And the answer to that question is a resounding no. Um, but again, it, I managed to resolve the situation by selling my shareholding in that business. Now, this is a conversation that I'm having with my 26 year old son as well. He's very passionate about what he does and he's quite clearly got his ladder against the right wall. Whereas I, I didn't really ever have my ladder against the right wall. I fell into the recruitment industry because I'd been sacked from about half a dozen jobs before that and there wasn't much else I could do. So I just got a chance. It wasn't, I, didn't, I didn't go out there and say, hey, I'm going to be a recruitment consultant and you know, that's what I want to do. It, it wasn't. But I'd reached the point in my life where there wasn't much I could do. Um, I'd underperformed at school and uh, I think it's inevitable that you end up going into certain types of jobs when that happens. Uh, you, you, your opportunities perhaps to do a profession like the law or counting or any of those kind of things is has been shot in the foot by your underperformance at school. 
and that was certainly the case with me. So I fell into recruitment, which was a form of sales. However, I did seize the opportunity to build a business, develop a career, and if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have been in a position to retire. But at the end of the day, I would still go back and have a chat with my 40 something self and say, you've been doing this now for 20 odd years. Is it really what you want to do? Or is there something else you can do? But I didn't really give a lot of thought to what I wanted to do. So that's the thing I would talk to my younger self about. Is your ladder against the right wall? So those are three things that if I had a time machine, I'd parachute back and have a little bit of a chat with myself. I'm sure there are a lot more, but there are only so many that I can cover today in this video because I've now got to head back and pick up Uncle Archie. But what about you? Anybody who's watching this, what would you say to your younger self, say 20 odd years ago, what advice would you give your younger self? Would you still follow the same path? Would you still put the ladder against the same wall? What would you do differently? Please share in the comments. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you taking time out to uh, watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.